Hello there, everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in uh, Hearts of Iron 4 Gods Redux, in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Crusader Poland, led by, of course, everyone's favorite Christ King. But we got some comments to go through. I've been doing some focuses just because we've been hanging out here. I've been sending some volunteers to Russia and all them, and Finland's doing very well, unfortunately, against these guys, but we'll see how long that lasts. Um, Ukraine's not doing very well, but, you know, like I said, we'll see how long it lasts. I do want to get involved in the war relatively soon. Uh, I did make a guys like 44 combo with, but we'll see. Uh, but, let's see. Focuses. We've done restructure the Bank of Poland. The Bank of Poland is the largest bank in the nation and has failed in the wake of Black Monday. Restructuring the bank and saving it from total collapse is the first step in a recovery from the Black Monday disaster. Reintroduces Lutti. Poland has used a mark ever since the end of Valkyrie. Now that German currency is in free fall, it's time to reintroduce the Polish currency, the Zloty, the state road fund. Much of Poland's farming is still being done with antiquated methods. On 5th of the 20th century, we must introduce these farmers to modern machinery to improve their capabilities and Schleis Schleiber and Groman works. Given the Schleiber and Groman works, authority over the Lutz region will allow them to increase their steel production drastically and further for the fires of Polish industry. Private research initiatives. The private sector, long ignored as a means of economic development, should be encouraged to instigate their own initiatives and further their own research. A new age cavalry. The age of the horses is over, but the age of motorized infantry has begun. We must invest in trucks and other motorized equipment to prepare for the next war, which would be great, 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 great. Yeah, we could grab that. We'll get some better fighters, maybe get some better casts. We'll see what happens. Um, anything over here? Anti tank. Eventually, we definitely need more guns, but we shall see. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Help them out down there, because these guys, the Germans just love assaulting the French lines. They love it, love it, love it. These guys are veterans at this point, so. And Spain as well, still Spanish. For better or for worse, it's still Spanish. So, um, In the meantime, we've got some comms to go through, like I said. Oh, that is not ideal. They landed a lot of boys, but then again, I can't imagine the third international winning right now. But so on, one of the first comments was, fun fact, Adam Dobosinski was a real person, and that guy in the portrait that we saw in the last episode wasn't him. That's William Afton. Someone says, if you want to, you can wait to research the last guns only after you finish artillery research. That way you can swap companies over and get the bonuses on both. Oh, that's true. Try rocket artillery. I think you'll appreciate the buffs to soft attack, says somebody else. Uh, someone says, it occurs to me to go after, after the Austrians. If they're not in the right expect, it's simple, to lead, it's simple to just attack them and run them over before they get up and involved. Or else get involved, huh? And since you have a mount, mountain border and stupid amounts of defense, you m might be okay, maybe? If you think you're ready for it, it just seems like a very good way to, to overrun part of the German support network without fighting them directly. Yeah, maybe, yeah. It just depends on how, much they, how fast they want to go to war with us, so. Uh, we have, someone else says, we have President Jesus, now we have King Jesus. Someone else says, hail King Christ, based in Holy Pill. Someone else says, I find it really funny that Jesus can become the leader of not one, but three countries in Kaiser Redux. Someone else says, Christ is King. And someone else says, someone else says stuff in Polish, but I don't know how to pronounce that. And someone else says, uh, that's that, Crusader Kings for confirmed? <laughs> someone else says, Christ is uh, Chad and King. And someone else says, what the heck is wrong with Adam? Which is very true. Now, get good to war with these guys. If anything, that might, get, might make it very easy for us. But my worry about that is that they will go to war with us and try to like just kill us really easily. Or they'll, they'll join the Reich's Pact at the worst possible time. Um, yeah, 125 days is quite a long while. Oh, man. Because I can't imagine them going to war pretty darn soon. And these guys already lost so much already, which means actually this wouldn't actually be really good for our front line, because we would really not have that much front line, but then again, we have to defend up here, too. We'll see. And the Romanians are doing quite well. Honestly, they're doing quite well. Kiev has fallen, which is good in this timeline. Um, we could. We're still defending very well. So, these guys are struggling quite a bit, which I don't like. And these guys get constantly attacked, which actually I'm okay with. The division template that we currently are using, though, right now, though, is this, which is 44 come with... No. Super great, but we do have logistic companies, we do have support anti-air, we're missing a whole bunch of equipment still, which is obviously not a good time to go to war, especially as we're deploying more and more divisions still, but still. And we have a good amount of divisions, we should have a super amount of defense with all the extra entrenchment, all the, extra, the literal extra defense, and I also built up more, or I just built up force too anyways, because I tried this off screen and we didn't do so well, let's put it like that, so. Um, so after this one, like I said, New Age Cavalry, Combined Arms will be very good to do as well. Uh, we'll read a couple more focuses and then maybe... Maybe they won't go to war. We'll see. Get some more output. I don't care if it's ahead of time or not. We have five research slots. Combined arms. Wars are not followed just an army, but rather with a combination of infantry, armor, and an air force. We must make use of this com ar combined arms theory by teaching our officers proper military techniques. Import foreign rifles. The new Polish rifles. Infantry, infantry tactics. That's not bad. That makes me, huh? I'd rather get the new winged hussars. Even after many years after the, the long, wing, last winged hussar rode in battle, the spirit of the winged hussars remained with us, empowering our cavalry and emboldening our spirits. Now we could do defensive tactics, ow, or an offensive fighting force, which I do like a lot. 10% more attack is really good. 
We'll go with defensive just because that's kind of the, the way we're going right now. Poland finds herself surrounded on all sides by nations that have no love for them. If we are to survive, we must make it so that the enemy pays for every inch of ground that they take with blood and that our armies stand ready to defend every inch of Polish soil. And a flat flesh to steel. Um, you know what? Let's do a new air force. Yeah, why not? Poland's air force is in a state of disrepair. We need to pull, pull the air force out of the last war into the modern era. We would fight toe-to-toe -to -toe the other powers of Europe. War with Germany. The time has come for one of our greatest foes to come bearing down upon us once more. Germany, ever an enemy of the Polish people, no stands firmly opposed us on the battlefield. We're going to take all we hold dear. It's time for the greatest fight of our generation. Where we decide the fate of Poland for generations to come. We're going to fight to the bitter end. Now, we've gone ahead and just started pushing out through here, which I don't understand why these guys own this. Whatever, which isn't very good for us. But whatever, we pushed out just a little bit, and we've been doing okay. Like, we've lost not many guys. 12,000 versus 26,000? Not bad. Um, as you can see, we are trying to push towards the rest of Prussia here, but main goal is just to mostly just defend. Ground support, superiority. That's probably good to do. Of course, we do have a lot of defense, and I did make these guys like 44 combat with, so we should do okay ish, in theory. And again, there's a lot of theories out there, so no guarantees. Do some stuff ahead of time. I want to get that up here as fast as possible, but I don't think we can. We only have so many divisions, and we can only expand in so many uh, directions. But I figured we might as well go this direction just because, and go to war with them immediately. Mostly just because, well, I mean, it might help out our enemies. Our enemies are other people out, such as the Russians, Romanians, and more. There you go. Oh, that's an encirclement. That's actually a really strong encirclement. That's nice. Good job so far over here, guys. Now they will start attacking us. We do hopefully have quite a bit of entrenchment bu being built up right now for those that are defending. Um, oh, now, of course we're out of artillery and whatnot, but you know whatever. Oh, you lost that, huh? Just defend. Just hold on to what we got. That's all that matters right now. Um, because I would like to attack, but you know whatever. Oh, actually you might be able to do well there, but we'll see. Now we've left all these other areas. It is what it is. I'm surprised they're not attacking yet, but whatever. More sub stuff, sure, why not? Why not? Ooh, made more divisions, nice. I mean, I do want to attack and surround them, but four divisions is a bit, a bit much, especially on Pinsk. You know what, let's ask uh, Romania for military access. We might be able to get some good supply through there, maybe. Ooh, can we ask Russia for military access? Yes, because then we get supplied through here, which would be good. We just have border forts too. These are frontiers are almost defenseless. We need to create a series of interlocking fortifications so any attack on the east will not catch us unprepared. Pretty great. It's very true. Nice. So now these guys are surrounded, which is great. Hop out there if you can, because I know you can. Oh, hello. You're not allowed to lose. You're literally not allowed to lose. Well, Mexico City, but of course we can't. We have to win before the Dona Ejibun gets involved, so. Ooh, someone's really attacking there now. Oh, and let's go to uh, Total War Economy. Put up a lot of roads, which is nice and all, but that's not going to win us wars. Oh, watch out, we're fighting Haiti now. Uh, sure. Not the Haitians, anything but the Haitians. Um, we're doing really well here, too. Get some more artillery. I love artillery way too much, probably. Anything else here? Sure, UK. Sure, buddies. Sure, why not? Pinsk? Um, honestly, actually, you could probably start moving this way. Nice. But you guys move here, too. Be very good. These guys leave. We'll send some more boys over there, too. Gardinas? That's almost Spanish. Our ciphers. It is what it is. I want to do. A, they're looking very weak. I want to attack so badly, but it's gonna. Do we have a, do we have a port. We don't have a port. So how do we lose, guys? You know what? Try. Our divisions are thick enough that we might do well enough. Oh, you know we might be doing okay. Elbing, which will force them. Ooh, they're doing force defense. Ooh, that is bad for them because they're literally gonna die there. All right. Well, these guys have been split up into two now. Or at least as long as we take this one. I can't tell if they are or not, but you know, whatever. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Of course, we have a, a lot of political power now, too. Um, can we ooh, look at that? Nice. Follow Madrid. Nice. 
You know, import this. It's fine. Is it worth importing that right now? Probably not, but whatever. Oh, we have a port! Yay! Finally, we have sea access again. Ooh, what do we have here? Naval designers, war propaganda? Sure, why not? Uh, sure. Sure, why not? We got the political power for it. Why not? So well, let's go in this way. This should really hurt the German front. Really hurt them. Oh! Oh, it's definitely hurting them. It's definitely hurting them. The one time I want to go really defensive. You know, it doesn't work out for us. Like, what the heck? Bro. We're approaching Minsk, too. Beautiful. We need way more arty. Good rubber. It's almost 1941. Fuel would not be bad, so grab that first, though. Yeah, there's no... Oh, we got a Koenigsberg. Ooh. We could rejoin the Entente. Why is... Why? The one time I want us to... I'll get kill off Minsk. But the one time I want us to be, play very defensive, which I struggled against Poland, I think, before... Playing as Germany once, I think, in Kaiser Redux. I could be wrong. It could be Kaiser Reich, I don't know. And I found that it was extremely hard to crack these like, the Polish enemies. I try that, and the Reich's back is kind of giving up ish. Not completely, but like we're doing really well against it for some reason. Ah, the first one has fallen. Lithuania is gone, which is great. Go ahead, I don't care if you lose it. too many men. All that matters is that their men are all destroyed and they can't even rescue them. Yes, yes, yes. We have Minsk. Mahilu? Good. Another encirclement? Yes, please. Fuel? Sure, why not? Hey! Destroyed. Nice. Capitulate these guys as fast as possible. I'm gonna focus on the Baltics and then focus back over here. We're actually not doing too badly. We actually have plenty of guns right now. Which is very surprising to me. Oh crap. Now okay now now it's now it's gone to crap. Austria declares war. Well, it looks like I've gotta go back to the drawing board because now I knew that would happen, as you guys said earlier too, that would happen as well, so uh not bueno. Not bueno. I mean, that's a case. Hmm. I don't know how fast Russia can move through here. I'm gonna assume they can move relatively quickly. Hmm, and then these are mountains. We do have a couple divisions here, so you guys are all around here. So I want you guys to do... You know what? Who's, who's actually over here? Everyone's over here. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take you. You go over here. I'm going to take you, and you guys go over here. You two do this by yourself. You hold. We might, be, we might do okay. We might not. We'll see. I don't know. At this point, we're just going to hold. And this front should quickly get all sorted out. Shouldn't have too many issues. Well, this, the rest of this front is just going to hold forever and just not die, please. For the love of God. And a hunger's been called in due, which is not good at all for anybody here, but whatever. Actually, you, you guys keep going. You guys push, 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 push until they all die. So, we'll see what happens. Sneak attack on the Germans, which led to a sneak attack on us. Oof. Hey, we took Dresden, though. It's not bad. I need you all to force the attack and actually win here, like now. There's no way. When is when are you guys gonna capitulate? Seriously. Combine arms, not bad. Oh, we're going to. Oh God, no, 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 Krakow is definitely not Austrian. Hold the line, that's all that matters right now. Go. Just seriously, just go. Come on, come on, capitulate. Why can't the Russians do anything? Why are they so incompetent? Oh, we're about to get in a circle here, too. Um, you might actually want to do this instead. 
Just so you don't get encircled there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just capitulate them. Go here. Ah, yes, finally. Thank God. Oh, oh that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, well, Gary's in there. Oh, you bunch of scum scumbags. Why is Russia so weak? Oh, this is dumb. I'm surprised they aren't attacking more, though, but you know what? Let's not ask questions. Russia, Jesus Christ, you... Yeah, Russia's pathetic. Come on, just capitulate them. We need this front done with now. Capitulate the pocket. Go, 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 go. We'll get these territories back, I promise you that. Oh, I promise you, definitely in the end, we'll get them back. God dang, come on, Russia. No, no, no. We just don't have enough divisions on this front. So I don't understand why. Jesus Christ, no, don't encircle them like this. No, oh my god. The AI frontline system is so bad. What? What? In what world would I want it flipped around? Bruh. No. No. Finish him off. If you could take out Rigo right now, that'd be probably the most important thing we could do. Might be able to, too. Maybe. And we're done with our land auction. Not bad. Oh, we actually should... Uh, at this point, I guess we should throw in some recon on these guys. There's no way we can even shore up the more defenses here. Um, I'm much I want to take them out. There's really not much we can do. You guys can go here, though, maybe. You know, yeah, go, go all the way in there. We can go in there. And we can go in there, too. Sure. Well, you're still doing that, which is nice. Not bad. Grab that, too. Go to Riga. Picture these guys would free up more divisions for the Russians to use somewhere else. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We're literally running on borrowed time here. Don't let them get in here. Come on. How is this front not done yet? Why are the Russians so bad? I know we could ask that in real life too, but still. Just take Riga. Don't let them move anywhere. Ooh, defensive started, which is not good. We well, won't attack you badly, but let's see. Can we actually do anything there? No? Eh, maybe. Maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take Riga. For the love of God, take Riga. Oh, we got Riga. That should be good. Uh, that should capitulate them. There they go. That's what we like to see. Full attacks. Just do not let up on them right now at all. Everyone goes in. And I can send these divisions south. Come on, come on, come on. Kill, 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 kill. Don't worry about that for now. Don't worry about it. Ah, oh, we got him. Good. Come on. Go straight into there. Oh. That'll be good. Ooh, I thought we'd have some really major issues, but this is looking not bad at all now. Which helped free up more Russian divisions over here. Free up more Russian divisions on this line, so that the Baltics are pretty much done. And throw these divisions back under the command of this guy. One done. And another one done. Great. We'll mop up some of these uh, spare armies here, too. Actually, you know what? Just help out. Take out. Help, just take out the rest of, of uh, Ukraine. 
So that makes me feel way better. Holy, holy crap. These guys are doing great. Oh, thank God, France. France, of all things, even with the UK being cooed, or Unibrim being cooed, they are still doing a bang-up job. That is not bad at all. They're doing way better than I thought they, thought they honestly would, so. Uh, let me do that, too. Just go in. Don't have too many points of contact. Just go in. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Romania's gone. Now that's not good. Uh, we're going to keep uh, defensive tactics just because it keeps with the meta. Or the way we're going. Poland to find itself surrounded on all sides by nations we have no love for her. If we are to survive, we must make it so that the enemy pays every, every inch of ground that they take with blood, and that our armies shall send ready to defend every inch of Polish soil. You know what? You're going to keep attacking. They, there's no way they can hold on to this stuff here, so. So, yeah. And if anything, we might just be able to advance now. With all those enemies that capitulated, we should have a lot more coming to work with. Um, can we actually do anything here? On the German front, yes. We definitely can. The goal is now to capitulate the German Empire. Which they're running out of manpower on all adults, sir, which is nice. The Austrians are out of manpower. They might be mobilizing more. Hungarians have some manpower. The Bohemians have some manpower. Ukraine should be completely out of men. But they're not. Because Russia is incompetent. Doesn't matter what timeline. And, yeah, Germany's... That's the goal. Germany's got to fall. Ooh, the Illyrian state is gone. Good job, Albania. Russia. Russia. I literally went to war and to help free up more of your divisions, and you still can't do that. Why? Ooh, the second empire pity's gone. Um, nothing really here yet. Infiltration assault? Sure, why not? Ooh, that's not bad. Static warfare would be really good for us. We should have went with that one, too. My bad. Whatever. Oh, we gotta get Berlin. How many have we lost, actually? Uh, 133,000 versus... 228,000. Nice. Come on, the battle for Berlin. We'll be honest, right now. Oh, Berlin's gonna fall easily. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Ah, uh, it's all over for the German Empire now. And once the Germans are gone, we can focus on those goddamn Austrians. That was never a good Austrian. Ah, the collapse of the Reichsback, which is going to make the game like very hard. I guess at this point, I don't know. Let me know if you guys use recon. Do you guys use recon? I don't really use. I mean, I use. Oh, my apologies. I mean, I guess I technically do use recon a whole bunch. So we might as well use it, I guess. How much motorized do we have? Ooh, actually, never mind. All right, so let's do it like this. I don't care about Haiti. Um. Here, you guys can have 80. It's going to be more fair if I actually take all Lithuania. Because without us, they would have lost it. Honestly, we took all White Lithuania as well. So we'll take that. And Riga. I must well take it. Just because without us, they would have not been able to do that. So, how much motorized do we have? Motorized. Oh, 1,400. Now, I've heard this is really good to use. Um, that plane's moving 15%. It does give you a little bit more armor, but we don't really need more armor. It's more breakthrough. Two more breakthrough. 14 defense. It doesn't help you with defense. It gives you 10 more breakthrough. A little more breakthrough. 1.3 soft attack. Three recon. This gives you two recon. Two and a half. It gives you more defense. We'll go with that one. Yeah, we have enough of everything here. Yay! Just always good. Well, Germany's got to die. And they did! Let's put this up between us and the uh, coming of France. Alright. Uh, where is Le Commune? French state, coming of France. Apologize for taking so long with this one, but you know what? We're doing better than I thought we would. They can have all this stuff, most of Germany. We'll take most of Prussia, though. There. Thank you, which is great! Now we can focus on the one front we have here. Uh, just stay right there, and we're gonna keep. We're gonna pummel them right, right now. Go straight in, no breaks. 
Go straight in. I want them all dead. Fall of Germany? Good. Oh, we're fitted with Lithuania, Latvia. What does it kill us? During the German attack on the city of Warsaw, the Kaiser's focuses or forces utilized any and all unhanded, underhanded tactics they could in order to gain the upper hand against their drug and patriots and defenders. Using high tech weaponry and state of the art, art tactics, the Germans caused heavy damage to both life and the city around them. One such act of needless violence was when a German radio man guided a Goliath tracked mine towards the Dierney of St. John's Cathedral, detonating upon reaching the church walls, causing widespread devastation. As the smoke cleared and we took back the city. <clears throat> oh, good. Uh. It was revealed that only portions of the first and ground floor survived the blast, but so too did a single link of track from the tracked mine, seeking to stick it to our would-be conquerors. The dearness of St. John's Cathedral has been repaired to nearly exactly how it was before the Battle of Warsaw. However, one thing has made, been changed. Built into the wall of the building's north face where the Goliath detonated. The surviving piece of the tracked mine's track was added to the structure of the church, complete with a small plaque commemorating the event. Well, the whole process has become to embody the famous resilience of the Polish people, and the church has become one of the most widely beloved and revered places in all of Warsaw. It's a small showing of strength like this happening all across the nation that it is responsible for continued, sur continued survival, and that it's, it is relics like this that we must defend in order to preserve what makes us truly Polish. It only makes us stronger. Bros, go in. The war is not yet over, and we god dang godless communist France cannot have Germany or Austria. Wow, we are... Truth be told, I think this is what the Russians wanted to do in real life in 2022, but they failed really hard. How did they fail so hard? Cut them off. Take Odessa. Might as well. Losses. Russian Republic is incredibly pathetic. 54,000. Keep working on this here, but there's really much we can do about it. Oh, we didn't use anything in this campaign. Oh well. Nice. Very nice, actually. Alright, what are we missing? Empty air? That's fine. We can work on that. That'll be good. Oh! Wait. The Constitution of American Republic, particular world. How long have they been at peace? What is that going on in America? Why do you have Baja California? No, you stupid frontline system. No, don't waste time doing that. Go, 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 go. We want Vienna. How are we doing so well? This is ridiculous. Even though it's very likely we're going to get some divisions encircled and killed off here. Kurdistan's Kurdistan. All right. You took that long to try to kill them off, and that's all you got. Oh my goodness. Incredibly sad. Cut these guys off. Keep melting them. Melt, 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 melt. Like a patty melt. More factories, good. More guns, just in case. Defensive tactics, even though we're on the offense. Whatever. Flesh of steel. Steel is future, and Panzers are the embodiment of this future. We must create our own designs and let set them loose on the battlefield to strike down our enemies. All right. Uh, Latvia. What are you Hey, look at this. Nice. Let's go straight in, guys. Don't worry about it. Pence would be nice. Well, must do this now. Pay up Latvia. Much of Lafayette has been brought under control and the troops occupy the region, but we must not decide what to do with it. I mean, I always, like, annex them, but I don't see any point to release them. Why do we have this again? So, so basically you're telling me we have to cheat, we should cheat for getting stability back, because this happened again. We already did this once, there's no point to do it again. Which is one of my grabs with Kaiser Redux, but, you know, White Fight of White Ruthenia. After a campaign across Belarus, we managed to shatter the defenses of Minsk. White Ruthenia is now in our hands, we must not decide on the future of it. So what is this hot fire again? Oh, that's glitched. That's totally 100% glitched. We did it once, and yet it wants us to pay it again in blood. Or you know, at least political power. What the heck? That's so stupid. That should not happen. We get probably way more fighters, too. Nice. Production land auction is finito, which is greato. So come over hero and do theater training. 
Honestly, I don't know why we keep doing this, but we'll keep doing it anyways. Okay, we'll do it too. The one campaign where I really want to focus on defense. Doesn't happen. You can do that if you really want. Bukovino. The small region of Bukovino is now under control. We must not. That's not. That's not what I would do with it. Yeah, I'll do that. Berdinyansk. We're literally going to walk into Mario Pole. Westminster Declaration 1941. Okay. Honestly, we don't deserve. I'm going to just take all, all of Ukraine here. You guys can have this one. It doesn't make any sense for why. Ukraine is actually very really large. I'm taking all of it. Screw it. Russia doesn't deserve any of this. They didn't do anything here. They fought a lot, but still. If it wasn't for us, they would have lost the war. I mean, this is ridiculous. He was a good general. Ooh, actually, keep it like that for now. Ah, see, I knew you'd get in circles somewhere. That sucks. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. I'm not doing that again. So. Fate of Ukraine. After a long fight with the breadbasket of Europe, we've launched a full campaign offensive and forced the Ukrainian army to surrender. Now, Kiev's in our hands. Liberate core Ukraine. No. Sorry, but no. Because I don't want to. I want to make sure we get our cores on. Because uh, we should have cores, some cores over here. Done, boss. Breast. Countess the city of Brest has been brought to control as the troops occupy the region. We must not say what to do with it. Yeah. Star old dub. Formerly Ukrainian held region of Star old dub is now under control. We must decide to do it what to do with it. Why are we getting penalized? I mean it makes sense we're getting penalized for all this stuff, but why? Volinia? The region of Volinia is now under control. We must decide what to do with it. As soon as they crusader to Poland territory, of course. Of course they would end their hostility since they're not at war with each other, really. So Promote it. After Flash of Steel. Uh, let's do our unique focus tree ones. The land of our youth. With the rebirth of our nation, people can finally set out to create the utopia of the childhood memories as a real and tangible thing. The air prosperity in Poland has finally begun. And God and Magda die at Polonia. Virgin Mary is always important in the history of our people. She has helped us defeat the Swedes, the Jasna Gora, save poet Mikiewicz from death and abode in the nights at Grunwald. We have to show our devotion to her, for her, more clearly. There you go. Nice. Well, flesh steel is nice. Uh, can we have Vienna? Hey, we took Vienna. Look at that. Nice. Hey, we won. Here, you can have most of Austria, except for Vienna, because we took Vienna, and which means that one too. And you know what? Let's go. We'll take everything else. Bohemia definitely. Hungary, definitely. And Albania. Really not. I don't think we deserve that one, but you know what? We could probably give that to someone else. It's fine. Oh, subsidized Matador and Puchov, Barum and Otrokovic. Oh, you get rubber. Albania, Austria. Austria has been forced to capitulate our troops to patrol in the streets of Vienna, prevent a rebellion or anything that could cause further instability. However, some opposed to creating a local Austrian government would be more helpful. Our leftovers, subsidies. 
Albania. After the campaign across Albanian countryside, our enemies in Tirana have finally capitulated, leaving us with control of the country. Our position in Adria has been cemented, but now it must have to do with it. Here, I don't actually I don't want that one. You guys can have this. Yeah, you can have that. Crusader state? Honestly, I'm liking how big we are. Screw it. Screw our stability. Hungary, Bohemia. Guys, just go in. Out of our youth. Oh. Well, whatever. I don't care. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? Some of the research. Way more armored cars would be very nice. Thirty one, better coordination. Pretty good. Coordination is very nice to have. And Bulgaria should be dying very soon. Do you have any upgrades? Yeah, you're okay. What, Ruthenia failed? Well, I don't say I failed it when we already did it and then the game glitched up. Shoot Budapest. Oh. I feel like this is kind of like an old path, old meme path for Poland, but I could be wrong about that. Keep going in. I didn't tell you to stop yet. Where the heck is your capital? I'm regrouping. Sure, why not? You can have that. Land of their of your youth. You're refining. Hey, we got him. Um, Ottoman Empire. Do you have any claims on any of this stuff? No. Okay, then Greece. Where are you? You are not here. All right then. Well, make it easier on us. Uh, are you kidding me? Here you go. Cool. Now let's finish this one too. And now people probably want to kill us off too, but whatever. All right. Anything else here? Demobilize. Fight of Crimea. No, we're gonna keep it. Fight of Bulgaria. Well, must liberate them. He did liberate these guys down here, so... Sebastopol. Here. There you go, Bulgarian state. Hungary? Nah, we're good. Well, let's, let's click... Uh, actually, I want to finish focus, focus first. Let's go. Eh, go back. Don't trust the Russians. Never trust the Russians. Wow. All right. Hey, we got it. So that's pretty much all the focuses for this campaign. Um, I'm pretty much done here. We did all the focuses for Jesus Christ the King, which is awesome. Uh, we could go through these, but, you know, whatever. I mean, it, it, these ones... We'll play Poland again sometime. We'll go through these sometime. So I do want to see this. Um, why are these all independent options? Uh, Fate of Crimea. I, we went over, over, went over this. We already went over this one. Sebastopol as well. The Bruzia, do not give it to them. Give it to the Bulgarian state. Uh, give it to the Bulgarian state. Nice, transfer to Serbia. No. Perot, yes. Transfer to Greece, no. Bulgarian state. Hungary. Bohemia. No, we're good. Man, this is really ugly down here. Why can't you just give this to Bulgaria? I don't understand. Go to Donbass, huh? Well, this is definitely one hack of an ugly Poland that we did. And we can't join the on. Why does this fire again? Vojvodina. Okay, so you just lose stuff there. Anything else here? Um, that one's fine. Yo, I'm making them look just a little better. Republic of New Africa. Transcarpathia. Nope. Can't get this to Bulgaria either because I guess they're not theirs. But hey, 
guess it's gonna be it. And thank God we have Christ King. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great, great Christian Christ the King rest of your day.